Hello. In this example, we're going to convert 4,367, that's in deanery, that's base 10, to hexadecimal, which is base 16. So, to do this, we're going to use the quotient method. And this is how it works. Let's take the 4,367, and let's divide that by 16. Okay. Now if I divide by 16, I'm using 16 because that's the base number of the hexadecimal system, but if I, if I do the division, I find that 16 goes into 4,367 272 times. But it's not exact, there's a remainder, and the remainder that's left over is 15. Okay. Now 15 in hexadecimal is given the value f. Alright? Now you can use a calculator in the exam, so you know, make sure that you get that remainder value absolutely right. But now in the quotient method what we do is we take that quotient value that we've just got, we go 272, and I divide that by 16 again. Now this time 16 into 272 goes in not exactly, but it goes in 17 times. Well, it does go in exactly. It goes in 17 times, and the remainder is 0. So what I do here with my hex value is I put a 0 in front of the F. Now make sure you get that order the right way around. It goes uh, on the left-hand side. So the next step is to take that 17 and divide that by 16. Now, 16 into 17 goes once, but there is a remainder this time, and the remainder is 1. So what I do in my hex value, well, 1 in hexadecimal is still the digit 1, so I put 1, 0, F. And then I take my quotient value, which is 1, and I divide that by 16, and I discover that 16 doesn't go into 1, so I'm going to put a 0 here, and that's my trigger to stop this process, but the remainder is still 1. So I'm going to put a 1 here, and then to finish off here, we're going to have 1, 1, 0, F. So what I'm telling you is that 1, 1, 0, F is the hexadecimal equivalent of 4,367. Now, let's just check that. Let's do a quick check. Let's prove to ourselves that this works. If I write out what that uh, hexadecimal value is, that 110F, let's write that out in binary using our groups of four digits. Well, the 1 will be 0001, and the other one will be 0001, and the 0 will be a group of four zero binary digits, and the F, that's the biggest hexadecimal value we've got, so that'll be 1111 as a group of four bits. Now, I also know that the weightings above these binary digits is going to go something like this. I'm going to have a 1 here. I'm going to have a 2. I'm going to have a 4. I'm going to have an 8. If I double 8, 16. If I double 16, 32. 64. Double 64, 128. And they're all zeros there, so I don't need any of those. But if I double 128, I'm going to get 256. So let's pull that down. Double 256 is 512. Double 512 is 1024. Double 1024 is 2048. Well, I don't need any of those, but if I double 2048, I'm going to get 4096. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these values together. When I add these values together, what you'll discover is that the answer is 4367. And that proves that 4,367 is equivalent to 110F in hexadecimal, which, remember, is base 16. Thank you.